Frederick Douglass was an African American who started life as a slave, but was thrust by his oratorical and literary brilliance into the forefront of the U.S. abolition movement. The son of a slave mother, from whom he was early separated, and a white father he never knew, Frederick lived with his grandmother on a Maryland plantation until the age of eight. He worked as a house servant and later as a field hand, and along the way he learned to read and write. In 1838, he managed to flee to New York City and then to New Bedford, Massachusetts, where he worked as a laborer for three years, eluding slave hunters by changing his name to Douglas. At an anti-slavery convention in 1841, Douglas was asked to speak extemporaneously about his own experiences. His remarks were so poignant and naturally eloquent that he was catapulted into a new career as agent for the Massachusetts Anti-Slavery Society. To counter skeptics who doubted that he could ever have been a slave, Douglas wrote his autobiography in 1845, revised and completed in 1882 as Life and Times of Frederick Douglass. Douglass's account became a classic of American literature as well as primary sources about slavery from the bondsman's viewpoint. After a two-year speaking tour of Great Britain and Ireland, Douglas returned with funds to purchase his freedom and also to start his own anti-slavery newspaper, The North Star, later Frederick Douglass's paper, which he published from 1847 to 1860 in Rochester, New York. During the American Civil War, Douglas was a consultant to President Abraham Lincoln. Throughout Reconstruction, 1865 to 1877, he fought for full civil rights for freedom and vigorously supported the women's rights movement. After Reconstruction, Douglas held several government positions, including U.S. Minister and Council General to Haiti from 1889 to 1891. And that's from Merriam-Webster's Encyclopedia of Literature.